We're honoring Boulder County Public Health tonight because they've just been such incredible partners for us. We had you know, contact with different employees at Public Health every single week throughout the entire pandemic and that um, you know, I think just really meant a lot to together and, um, and to you know, the young people we work with to make sure that we can keep staff and youth uh, as healthy and safe as possible. I think this last 18 months has shown us how critical it is to have a coalition. You've got all these things hitting at once and to be able to find a little mini community within a community for support, I think it was huge. I'm really, you know, grateful to be part of a, a, a bigger, you know, community, a team of people um, working with, with together has been very important for our work. And continuing to make it collaborative, you know, it has to take, it takes all of us, it takes um, us doing this work together and it takes um, coordination around that and so you know Boulder County Public Health has been great on kind of leading that. As we all know trying to protect the youth population experiencing homelessness is incredibly difficult and truly takes a village. What Boulder County did was try to focus on keeping COVID at bay and working really closely with shelter partners so that places like Together could continue to provide excellent and more holistic care to these folks. Our shelter stayed healthy and it was because of the ability to be able to pick up the phone and say, hey, I've got a situation, can we talk through this? And having that responsiveness was key. You know, the unhoused population is part of our community and we're interested in protecting the health of the community as a whole. And that means every individual in our community is important to reach. I do think because of their leadership around this, we were able to keep our program safer, so thank you. I think it would be uh, tough to talk about our partnership with FUMC without acknowledging that uh, this organization probably wouldn't be in existence uh, without them. It was a group of congregation members and people that were involved in social justice issues at the time from that church, including church leadership, uh, that helped create this organization. Then several years ago now, when we became aware that Attention Homes was looking for a parcel to build affordable housing for young people, uh, our ears just picked up. We thought this is something uh, that we could absolutely support. As far as fitting the needs of the church, something that we could do that would be very supportive of the community at large, and then to help together pull this project forward. It was, was like it was just meant to be. FUMC is a leader in this space around how a faith community, a nonprofit, and other partners can come together uh, to solve really big problems. And so let's let them be that beacon for other faith communities, other communities in general, to identify ways to partner, to have that broader mission-based impact, and to realize this vision that I think we all collectively share of ending youth homelessness. The church's relationship with Together has been very important. It's an example that we use how um, our church uh, doesn't just study something, it actually goes and does something. And we hope that we can continue that kind of legacy. Andrew's energy and excitement and thoughtfulness is imbued throughout every aspect of this organization and has been over the, over the last six years. And I feel very lucky that he, was, he chose this organization to be a part of. That's really the way that we improve our community, right? Getting people together to work together towards a common purpose. You know, someone's got to build that strong foundation because without that, right, it all collapses. And the work he did is really uh, put together where it needs to be as it's going through this big launch phase. We set out these sort of three main pillars to kind of guide our work moving forward. Increasing access to housing for young people uh, who have experienced homelessness or who are at risk of homelessness. Excellence in all we do in the way we deliver services and the way we work as an organization. And the third was uh, establishing sustainability, especially financial sustainability, to position us for, for further growth. I'm just so thankful he was there. You know, I just watched his like, steady hand 
and calmness. I appreciated that I knew he always had my back and I always had his back and there was mutual trust and respect through all of that. Selfishly, the role between a board chair and a CEO is a critical one and we were going through a lot and uh, that dude's my rock. So uh, I'm incredibly grateful for his service. I really feel it deep down that um, I've been lucky to be involved in this organization and I look forward to continuing to be involved. I certainly have uh, gotten back as much as I've given as a, as a volunteer to Together. Just being able to do fun things sometimes, like whether it's to go to lunch or go have coffee and do things that are not maybe checking boxes, that they're more building relationships with the young people. And I think that that's my favorite thing. She really sees um, and meets youth where they're at and is very familiar with the resources around and so is able to support uh, youth in, in whatever goals they are working on. Christy's really natural when it comes to conversations with youth. She was really great in the space and drop in when she was just coming and just hanging out with the youth. She really has a way to show that she empathizes with them and really genuinely cares about everything that they're going through. Um, and that type of passion that she has for the youth really radiates the spaces that she's in. When I first met her, I knew that she wanted to work with youth and she really, um, did everything in her power to make that happen. And um, I think that everybody that comes um, in contact with her is, is better um, as a result of being able to connect with her. Uh, the Pathways to Success program has been partnering with Together for uh, over five years now. And so we are able to work together. And I think that that's been the biggest thing is that this youth now has somebody from together and somebody from the county who are able to help them navigate housing, employment, education, um, all, well-being, permanency, all of those areas. There's lots of things that I love about working with the youth at Together. Uh, for me, it's about watching them grow and seeing the potential that we all know is there within them. 